Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Salika Maguindanao from Lanao del Sur, Marawi City, southern part of the Philippines. So this is where you will find our city, um, the Marawi City, which is located in the Bangsamara region of uh, in the Mindanao. So we are in the Lanao del Sur. So this is who we are. We are um, the only Islamic city in the Philippines. We have a rich culture. We have uh, um, so many different kinds of uh, handicraft and cultural products and so diverse that we also have our food and many other um, traditional practices and dances that you can only find here in our culture. So when the Mar Mar Marawi uh, siege happened, um, as you can see in the video, this is what left in our city, what kind of mixed feelings that we have been through. So these are the usual scenes that you will see in the street. We will see families flying out of our city. Basically, we found ourselves living in an evacuation center um, in a nearby city in Iligan. So that's where we started founding the Marinal Collectible. So this is how we were then. Um, everyone is gathered around, sitting, somebody, someone are um, weaving. So we scavenged uh, everything, our materials from um, garbages and other recycled materials. So you will see um, my mom weaving there and her siblings also. So basically, that's how we started the social enterprise. Basically, our workstation is also where we are sleeping, where we are eating and doing everything um, for the whole duration of that time that we were in evacuee. So why are we doing this? We want to alleviate poverty by providing livelihood opportunities to our artisans through fair trade. We want to revive the dying tradition of weaving and reconnect with our ancestors and basically um, give back our lost dignity during that time. So uh, our heirloom, kit. so we produce bags, jewelries, um, accessories, and many other things out of the kit that the community is weaving. In partnership with them, we create uh, products that are um, equally beautiful and at the same time, um, heirloom quality. So it will last uh, almost a lifetime where you can also share that to your um, granddaughters or grandchildren. Uh, and then um, we have a store uh, where people can buy our products. We also have our uh, all social media pages and um, outlets. We have Facebook page, we have Instagram and Shopee. Basically everything is named Marinal Collectible. And uh, soon we will be opening our Shopify. So we have, uh, we want, uh, we have an existing clients from local and international uh, clients. Uh, we also work with uh, designers. Um, so our target markets are uh, really them and some tourists, businesses, um, and online customers also are uh, who are interested in the artisanal products that we are making. So since the inception of the Marina Collectibles from 2017 up to 2021 today, we have grown from less than 20 um, weavers or members into almost 70 to 80 members from our um, grant that we have started. We received 100,000 as a grant for us to start the social enterprise up to now that we are, we are valuing our assets and other, and other inventories worth uh, uh, in value in Philippine peso. So uh, we have worked a project such as the um, inaugural Ironman in the Philippines in 2000, early of the 2018. We also worked with the uh, UAAB Games um, until 2019 with 
a uh, junk nut, eco creatives. It, it is basically uh, one of the largest athletic competition in the Philippines. So um, this 2020, during the pandemic, um, basically we stopped doing uh, exhibits and trade fairs in Manila and uh, other parts of the Philippines, wherein we get our 50% um, of our sales. So uh, instead, we were able to uh, operate online. We also went into doing a face mask uh, using our woven material, the lung kit. We are also moving into doing and um, supplying materials and stems and other, um, other projects with the government through. So we have this uh, one project just last month wherein we produced a traditional gong for our Philippine Sports Commission uh, project. So that is one of the highlights that we have been doing this pandemic. So uh, we want you to meet our artisans. So 100% of them are um, women um, aging 18 to 78 years old. So 70% of these artisans or weavers are relying on weaving um, as their sole uh, household, I mean, as their sole uh, incomes. And then we also have these ladies who proudly wears the UAAP medal lane. Um, and yeah, this is my family. And uh, they are basically what composes the Marino Collectible Service Cooperative. Okay, so now we are recognized with our small effort to help um, the community newspapers and prints, um, even in uh, social media and, you know, over the internet, all over the internet. So I am happy that um, our social enterprise is slowly growing. Uh, we have been into most uh, national and international trade fairs in the country. Yeah. So these are a few of our artisanal products. So basically, this is how we also uh, set up our booth and kind of um, exhibits and trade fairs. So what can you help with our mission? Um, we would like you to patronize our product, meaning you will, will uh, we encourage you to buy our products, uh, buy in bulk. <laughs> we'd love to have, uh, we'd love to have our products reach into your uh, country. We'd love you to, uh, we would like you to welcome us in your home. So um, another is you buy local made products and by buying, you support the local makers thrive. And um, of course, you can also help in developing and empowering uh, social enterprises like us through your purchase or um, basically anything that we can uh, work together with. So beyond now, because uh, of what happened uh, during this pandemic, we uh, would love to focus more on uh, attracting uh, new B2B clients, meaning business to business, uh, nurture existing partners or ones via revamped social media pres presence. So we would also love to increase the, our sales um, with a Shopify site to cater to both local and international markets. So we would also be introducing new product lines through collaboration with our uh, designer, an RTW designer, and we would love to expand our cultural preservation beyond Blanket into other products such as bamboo, laptop, and uh, you know the mat producers who also needed a support and um, mainstreaming their products so they can also be assisted and supported. So um, you can also hear, I mean, read some of our uh, clients' message about us. So this is Chunk Nut, uh, our partners for producing the UAAP medals. Um, this is Miss Fanny Pigeon from PASMS event management. Since the inception of Marinal Collectible, she has been 
our um, constant client, every three months she really does order uh, ribbon medals for her clients and her events. So that's our story and that's our social enterprise. We hope to be working with you soon. Thank you very much.